I got started with my grandfather. It took me to Front Street Boxing Gym when I was 11. I started hitting the speed bag, started jumping rope. And then as soon as I started learning my punches and everything, and I started to love it. Since then, I've won Junior Olympics multiple times. I have a lot of national titles. I've won. I made the USA team. I've won Golden Gloves a bunch of times. I have been called an extra Frazier because I come out of Philadelphia. So they, they kind of took that and just ran with it. Like, oh, she, they watched me train and they were like, she's the next Joe Fraser. <laughs> when I first started, I didn't really know that I was gonna be on an Olympic journey. I just thought I was just boxing to box and I'm gonna have a couple fights and maybe, you know, we'll see what happens. But then as I started to spar and I started to get fights, I was like, I wanna take this past, past just local fights. I wanna be able to say I won a gold medal for my country and I represented my country. <laughs> I hope to show girls and, and even women that when you work hard and you're really dedicated to something, you can, you can go far with it. It's not just you're sitting here thinking about doing it, you're out there doing it and you're out there putting in work and time and everything's going to pay off. Right now we're having our annual Shoot Hoops, Not Guns, Anti-Violence, Love, True Peace, Freedom and Justice Community Basketball Tournament. How to be team players. You know, so today we're teaching that in our community so they can learn how to love each other more and not fight, want to pull guns and different things of that sort. This is actually an outlet for the community. It gives them something to do instead of just standing outside on the street corners doing nothing. When they come to these games, you can see that they're energized. And they're um, hyped, they're ready to play, and they're, you know, teaching them how to feel good about themselves. Learning that we're all united. We're brothers and sisters here, we're not enemies. Promoting self-respect for oneself, you know, and that's what's lacking in our communities, not having respect for one another. And the actual basketball sport it actually teaches unity. You know, that you have to work with your teammate in all actuality. So, that's pretty good there, yeah. When I first started off, I was in the middle. As the trucks and stuff came by, I had it on neutral, so it would flood, it would float until I parked it, left it on park, and then it made its way to the side. Oh, actually it wasn't raining, and oh. it really was a surprise. I was driving, and suddenly the water was all there, and I couldn't go back. And I've been waiting for the tow truck. I called my insurance company, and they're gonna tow it. I wasn't afraid. I couldn't control it. Right. So why get upset about it? It could be worse. It could be so much I could have gotten hurt, and uh, there was a nice police officer who uh, let me sit in his car to warm my feet. So everything is good. I should be able to take off from work tomorrow, shouldn't I? 